Okay, fellas, so what we got here is a piece of copper tube with water trapped inside of it. And we have a pressure gauge attached to it. Now, I made a statement years ago and said that when you're bending tubing filled with confined fluid, you're probably hitting pressures that exceed 1,000 PSI. And I've just been getting my ass kicked in the comment section ever since. Botched the test already. Okay, there we go. Look at that, guys. Damn it, I knew it. People are calling me liars. Look at that. All I'm doing is, is bending this tubing. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Yeah, I'm a real dumbass. I can make this exceed a thousand PSI. Let's just here, I'm gonna put the, this camera back down. Okay, so I put the camera back down. Let's get back at it. Look at that, dude. Well over a thousand PSI right there, boys and men. I know some of you believed in me. Look at that, dude. There's a grand in there right now. Watch this. This is like a third class lever, fellas. I knew this was happening. Now, why did I post this video? Well, it's for my own self esteem, damn it. It's actually kind of a funny story, fellas. Now, the comments I'm about to show you are not to defame anybody, and they're not to make me look good. They're just. It's just kind of a funny story where your intuition was right. I just made this off-the-wall comment using nothing but intuition. And I said one day, like years ago, you're exceeding pressures of a 1,000 PSI when you're bending a piece of copper. Let's start off with Carson. Brother, I'm sorry to throw you under the bus, man. But damn, you had to give me two exclamation points for crying out loud. And you build custom motorcycles. Okay. Let's see what you got to tell me here. Hmm. You seem intelligent, so maybe rethink the 1,000 PSI pressure thing. Well, the problem is I don't want to seem intelligent. I actually have to be or my ass will starve in the streets, literally. Self-employed, bro. Can't do that and be stupid at the same time. Alexa, thank you so much, baby doll. You're saving me here. I got people like you, then I got this guy. The, the double exclamation point. Now let's just scroll down. This is hilarious, you guys. This gets pretty funny. A lot of people just love me. This dude right here is a, kind of a friend of mine now. He tried this attempt for his business. Chris, you're a damn gentleman and a scholar. Now this is the way that I would prefer to be dealt with when I make stupid comments. Hell of a guy. Here's another comment they like to beat me up on. Um, water absolutely does compress. Why don't you look up bulk modulus and the formulas involved in figuring out those equations? If you drop a steel sphere, a bathysphere, down into the ocean, it will crunch down in size because of the weight of the water. A solid steel sphere. What makes you think if you can smash a solid steel, or steel sphere, you can't compress water? Water does indeed have a high bulk modulus. It is very hard to compress, but it is easier to compress water than it is steel. So to say that water isn't compressible, I actually have several videos showing that very thing taking place. Here's a guy kind of licks me for both comments. I mean, compression fittings are made for residential water pressure, which is like 35 to 60 PSI. That's kind of what I meant when I said that. I didn't realize residential water pressure was higher in some places than others. Like my place at the time was like 35 PSI. Now I've got like 54 to 60 or something like that. It goes on and on guys. I'm gonna end this here. You get the point. I could scroll on forever. The amount of um, comments that were on this thing is just insane. So. We're going to leave it at that. 
This guy says it would have blown up on me, but we've seen the leaks and all that stuff. See that little droplet of water right there? We're losing water in a couple spots inside the valve itself. You can see that's flooded. So we're hitting a thousand PSI's despite the fact we're leaking a little bit. I didn't want to let this stuff cure the Loctite. We ain't got time for all that. I knew this was going to be a success. I just, I got a comment the other day, the double exclamation point just kind of, I don't know, man. It just, it inspired a fantastic video. So like I said, guys, it, it wasn't to knock anybody. It really wasn't. It was, they were starting to make me believe in them. Like, I really am a dumbass. Like, damn it. I'm going to have to figure this out. We have to confirm this, basically. Am I retarded? I seem smart, apparently. I don't know where they gather that information from. The minute leak actually has a beneficial attribute, especially if you're building a heat exchange. Let me unwind this a bit so you can take a look at it. See how it's got somewhat of a flattened profile? Because it was allowed to give just a little bit. We we're only maintaining a thousand PSI's in there, which is why I call it hydroforming, by the way. I've got commenters that like to tell me it's not hydroforming too. But, you know, that's cool. I suppose it isn't, but it is in this case. And, um, yeah, man, I mean, isn't that cool that you're, you're getting a thousand PSI's easily? You could probably just keep doing it. I mean, it's really like zero effort. It's, it's leaking water on me, though, so, and Loctite. So there you have it. Even with it leaking, I mean, that's, that's cool. I'm glad it's leaking. That, that proves we had room to work with. We could probably crank this thing up to 2,000 PSI. And no, I'm not going to prove that. I'm done. Look at this mess. What the hell? I need this. So there you have it, fellas. Definitely a very interesting thing to observe. Um, as I said, this video wasn't to knock anybody. It just it really was an interesting question. You know, if they asked me, you know, rather than tell me it's not true, they should have just asked, why do I think that? 